I'm Patty Stanger, the star of Bravo's Millionaire Matchmaker. You're watching Pop Eater and you're going to love it. Hi, I'm Amber James with PopEater.com, and today I'm here with the Millionaire Matchmaker, Patty Stanger. Thanks, Amber. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. So the new season of Millionaire Matchmaker has moved from LA and now you're in New York. The Big Apple. How are the men different in New York this season? Well, um, where are the men? That's all I want to say. <laughs> I grew up here and I have never seen such a bare city in my life for so many people. It's five women to every one guy. Generally speaking, when a man gets the girl, he moves to the suburbs. He doesn't stay in the city. Very few stay in the city. You know, the blue buds, the snobs. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. but that's not a lot. And they're very metro here. I have to give it, like, where are the hunters? Mm -hmm. In fact, this season, it's all about the women. It's about the women millionaires. Majority of the people we've been showing. That's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a new twist. One of the things that we're seeing is that um, the female millionaires, you know, has the problem of attracting gold diggers, which, you know, we always think gold diggers are mm -hmm. female. Well, there's plenty of male gold diggers out there, including Kevin Federline. <laughs> so it's totally a different animal this season. And then we still have our gay dating, which mm -hmm. also we do. What was one of the biggest challenges that you faced so far? Finding hot girls in New York City, which really? don't exist. And they complain. And when we do find girls, they don't show up. They say they have a job, they're not really interested, yet they're whining in their soup every day um, that they can't find a man. So I think in New York you have to be more proactive than any other city in the United States. Mm -hmm. Maybe London is as bad because London's six to one. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to really get outside your comfort zone and do things you would never normally do to attract a man. And for these women that are just kind of sitting around and whining about not having a man, What's your advice to them? Well, if you want to get a millionaire, you got to hit a steakhouse. I'm a big fan of the Plum, mm -hmm. and also um, any of the Mortons and Ruth Chris's. Go where the men are. Mm -hmm. If they're playing golf, go there. If they're playing tennis, go there. Like you know, go to the Hamptons, but you don't have to go to a club. You should be going out in the day. The best guy that you can meet is out in the day. Moving away more to like your personal life, you look fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. And I know like you're everywhere. Everyone's talking about how much weight you've lost. I lost 20 pounds mm -hmm. and I lost it on Sensa, which basically mm -hmm. is a diet that's really not a diet. It's mm -hmm. a way of eating. You sprinkle on this powder that mm -hmm. goes on the food. You don't taste it. You don't see it and you eat half your meal. What makes this so much different than the other fad diets that are out there? Because it's scientifically proven, it's based on your senses and your smell. Mm -hmm. You don't really know you're smelling anything, but your smells are, are saying you're full. You know, everything signals the brain to say we're full or we're hungry. So if we can keep in the full phase, we just eat enough to satisfy us. Well, yeah, you look great. And Thank looks you. Like so many people seem to be talking about it. Yeah, next will be a bathing suit. We're working on, you know, a shape cover. I want a shape cover. Love you, Shape Magazine. You know? <laughs> I can't wait. That's yeah. going to be like a big new soon seller, I'm sure. You know, you're engaged right now. Mm -hmm. Is there a wedding? No, we haven't planned one yet. We've been working. Mm -hmm. Bravo's kept me in a tight leash. I haven't had time <laughs> to do anything personally. In fact, you know, we're shooting 12 episodes in seven weeks. God mm -hmm. bless me because nobody has the schedule. Okay? <laughs> so, you know, I, maybe one day mommy will let me out to play, you know? Do you see there's no rush, really? No, I mean, you know, we're older. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, although I don't plan on having children physically, I might mm -hmm. adopt someday, mm -hmm. it, there's no rush.